what's up everybody thank you for checking me out my name is Eko Simpson I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana well you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it it was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube basically my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora so thank you for checking me out if this is your first time of watching my videos kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel hey thank you very much for checking me out this is a course simpson aquaba to my youtube channel i'm saying aquaba because i have a special friend here who i would like to say aquaba to ghana because um he was here i think last year and then he's back anyway if this is your first time of checking out my youtube channel today is thursday 17th of february 2022 so we're going live you know um i know most of you have been watching my videos but the analytics says that those who watch my videos haven't subscribed yet so why haven't you subscribed just subscribe to my youtube channel and let's build this family together um today i have here with me a special friend uh an afro latino i love using that word because it's, it sounds nice when i say it now um last year my friend here I'll let him introduce himself very soon. Last year, he came to Ghana with a group of Hebrews, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, we happened to meet. And then we had a beautiful conversation. I'll put a link below. You can go back and watch it. Now, he's back to Ghana. I don't know why he's back to Ghana. After all the riches and everything in the United States, he's still back to Ghana. That is a joke. I'm just teasing him. Welcome to my YouTube channel, brother. Hey, how you doing? Um, I'm very thankful for being here and, uh, thank you again. And, uh, yeah, this is brother Kwesi Yeshu. Others call me Yeshu. The Hebrew community call me Yeshu, but, um, the Ghanaians call me Kwesi and yes. Okay. Kwesi, where in the United States are you from? Uh, I, I, I lived in Massachusetts, uh, for many, many, many years, um, but I'm originally from Puerto Rico, Car the Caribbean. Puerto Rico. Well, how, how do you call the female? Senorita? Or? Uh, senorita or, <laughs> or mujer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello, senoritas. Uh, you're watching your brother right here from Puerto Rico. Um, send a shout out. You know, share this video. Let all the Puerto Ricans see what is happening here in the motherland. Now, uh, you were here last year with a group of hebrews why what was the purpose of your visit for the first time yes uh my the first time that i came i came i came with uh brother ronald dalton jr and um he uh he and and, and other diasporans um they they came and what we wanted to do is come back and visit visit ghana and unify with our brothers and sisters uh, from here, from Africa and Ghana, and um, basically um, unite as a people. Because we've been over in the U.S. and the Caribbean, and we wanted to reconnect with our roots, with our people, and that was one of the main reasons I came, you know, and we came together over here to okay, go beautiful so reconnecting with your roots um that means there were a lot of activities that you guys went through when you came to ghana yes. uh, can, can you mention just a few yes we went to um we went to the cape coast castle mm -hmm. um we went we visit all the different um dungeons in um in a, in, in cape coast mm -hmm. um i i have african ancestry in my family, both of my father and mother. So I, I was looking at all of this, uh, things that happened, uh, th to our ancestors. And it really touched me in my heart and all the things they went through. So I, I really had, um, a very spiritual experience when I got here to Ghana. And it was very powerful for me because um, I never experienced that as a as a brother, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, it was very, very, uh, like I said, it was a very spiritual, spiritual. thing. So I, I, I'm very 
thankful to experience that. Yeah. So uh, I know most of these things are spiritual because um, I wasn't born in Ghana. I was born in Nigeria mm -hmm. by two Ghanaian couple. Mm -hmm. So by birth, I would say I'm a Nigerian, but by my roots, ancestry, I'm a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. So I'm a Ghanaian. But sometimes I feel like I want to travel to Nigeria where I was born just to feel the grounds, you know, feel the area, feel the people that, okay, this is where I was born, even though I'm a, I'm a Ghanaian, but I was born here. So I feel the spiritual part of this whole thing. Now, going back to the state with the group, what was the feedback between you and your family, your friends? I mean, what was the conversation like? Um, I think that uh, uh, the conversation was like, uh, how was your experience? And a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of people were, were were saying, "Wow, you went to Ghana, you know? Um, how was it, you know?" Yeah. And 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 I would reply to them that it was an amazing experience, yeah. uh, one of a kind. And and if you are African descent, or you have uh, you know uh, fa family ancestors that come over here from Africa, you should take the time to come to Ghana, you know, or even somewhere in, somewhere else in Africa, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and uh, so you could come back and, and know your roots, mm -hmm. you know, know know your people that, you know, they're from here mm -hmm. from Africa. So it was, an, it was an amazing experience. So a lot of people were asking me, you know, how it was. Did and they ask you if, 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 if we live on trees? Like uh, those funny, funny comments that they make. <laughs> uh, well, well, I think a lot of a lot of people are starting to see, are starting to um, understand that Africa is 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 developed, mm -hmm. is 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 being developed, and it's it is, in, and a lot of people are starting to see a different face yeah, of Africa. Of Africa. So um, those stereotypes um, are being left off. Okay. So, beautiful. Which is good, you know, uh, our brothers and sisters in America, in the U.S., uh, African Americans, that they should come over here and and experience what it is to to live here yeah. and in Ghana, or to or even have a vacation in Ghana. You know, not necessarily live, but um, if you want to live, yes, it's 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 a uh, it's, uh, experience. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to make that first step. You know, come over here, come to Ghana, <laughs> you know? <laughs> now, you're talking about living in Ghana, giving an, an advice to the African diaspora that even if you don't want to live here, you can just come here, have a trip, have a vacation. And he also mentioned living in Ghana. I think I don't think it's been one year when he when he came here. Has it been a year? No, it's it's been a, it's been about I would say um since the first time I came, mm -hmm. I would say it's been about maybe close to a year. Close, close to, a year. to a year, I would say. Close, yeah, okay, close, close to, to a year. year. And then you went back, mm -hmm. and now uh, we're making this video, not in the United States, but we're making this video in Ghana, meaning that you're back to Ghana. Now, what what motivated you to come back? I, wait, before that, are you living in Ghana now? Uh, yes, um, I'm living currently in Ghana right now. Yes. Okay, so you're going to be in Ghana for how many years? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, we, we have to, uh, we, we still trying to see what, what we're going to do. All right. But, um, for now I'm right here right now. Okay. Right now you're living in Ghana. And so like, like I asked previously, what made you move to Ghana? Maybe one or two things that motivated you to move back to Ghana. Well, um, one of one of the reasons, um, one of the many reasons I left uh, the U.S. was because of a lot of uh, racism in America, a lot of uh, lack of of support for African descent people. Um, I was trying. I, I said to myself, you know, I'm, I'm living in this situation. You know, they don't like me. You know, I just, I just want to get out of, you know, I just, I, I don't want to be here no yeah. more. I just, it's, it's very negative, you know, and, and I didn't want to live there. So, uh, brother Ron, um, 
I, I saw what he was doing and um, and I said to myself, I want to I want to make this step. I want to get go to over to the to the motherland. I want to go to Africa. And I said to myself, you know what? Let me make that first step. So I did. And um, I've been here and I feel great. Mm -hmm. I love it, you know, yeah. and um, I, I'm happy. You know, yeah. I'm peaceful. peaceful. <laughs> yeah, peaceful country like Ghana. Yes, everybody says Ghana is peaceful. Yes, it is peaceful because the people are hospitable and they are ever ready to welcome anybody into their arms. Now, you living in Ghana now. Where do you live now in Ghana? Um, I'm living right now in Accra right now, Accra region. Okay. Yeah. But Accra is very, very noisy, polluted, very, the hustle is like real in Accra. You know, if you're not hard, you can't stay in Accra. Do you think, okay, so far you've been there. What, how, how do you see Accra? Do you think it's like a place you can find your way through or nah, you want to come relax somewhere like Cape Coast where pressure is not really there like that? Yeah, I, I do. I, uh, Accra is, is, is more of city kind of like mm. uh, life. Um, I, I, I'm more of, I'm more, <laughs> for me, I'm more of a guy. I love the beach. Okay. Uh, I'm more of a of of, of a beach uh, kind of guy, you know. So I love the peace, you know. I love the tranquility. Yeah. So uh, for me, if I had, you know, it, I would say in the future I would like to live maybe somewhere in the country or somewhere close to the beach. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Maybe in the future, maybe. <laughs> but for now, you be in Accra. I'm a crying to, Accra Yeah, right to now, try to work so. things out. Now, people would like to know, when they move in, um, they would want to know, okay, how is accommodation system like? So when you moved in, what has been the journey in terms of finding accommodation? Um, Accommodations, I would say that um, you would have to do your own research mm -hmm. um, and, and talk to the right people. And I'm sure there's, there's plenty of, 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 of good Ghanaians that uh, know how to uh, get you around and, and help you how to find uh, property or how to find a place to rent um, or, you know, place to stay and, uh, you know, good prices. And, 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 and there's, there's ways to get around yeah. to find, uh, what you can, you know, to, uh, as your, you know, your, 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 your income or what you're trying to do, mm -hmm. you know, so, okay. um, there's way around it. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, when you moved in, definitely you need to survive. Mm -hmm. You need to make some money. Maybe you need to find some girl and have fun with. But let's talk, let's forget about the girls. Now, how are we surviving in Ghana with you? Okay, so right now, um, I am working with a company right now. Okay. Um, it's still in developed. Um, and there's an application. Um, it's, it's by a company called Instant Recall. You can download the app in Android. And uh, basically, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Okay, so um, someone came and then he's lucky to have a business that is, you know, ongoing. They're in the process of getting the business to the whole world. Someone will come and set up his or her own business. Someone will come set up a hospital, a clinic, or a school. Everybody comes and what the ancestors want them to do. Now, talking about the work that you do you said instant instant recall it's called instant, instant recall. recall so if i if i would get it right um i'm a normal person mm -hmm. okay no no i'm not a normal person i've been traveling and i go to rwanda egypt blah 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 i take pictures mm -hmm. that i want to take and then when i get onto the app i would upload all this information on it and then maybe put the locations on it. So somebody else also has the application. So when the person opens the applications and then maybe go to somewhere like Ghana on the application, that person is going to see 
places that maybe I or other people have placed on the app. So that person says, okay, when I went to the app and I clicked on Ghana and I clicked on maybe Central Region, I've seen a couple of people posting this beach, this beach, this beach. Maybe this beach is nice, so then I have to go there. Okay, so how does one benefit from doing that? Okay, so right now, um, the, the, the benefit of it is that uh, you get to, uh, let's say, uh, you wanted to uh, basically you wanted to promote uh, your business or you wanted to promote uh, a, a place there uh, it gets to to be there and 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 basically other people see it other people that have the app see it so they get to go to those places and they know that uh, w you know, with the f with the uh, uh, with the rating, with the ratings of of the of mm. the uh, of the place that you went to, uh, they see that you know this is a place that I want to go. Mm -hmm. So let me go here. I see that a lot of people are commenting, or or they 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 put a lot of stars on it, and it's a five star place. So let me go and visit it. So people will visit and and. You, you attract more people to the place that you're going to. So I think uh, Ghana is developing, you know, Africa is developing. Previously, it would always be a word of mouth to recommend a place. So I think if we have this Insta recall, recall yeah. yes, if we have this Insta recall, I mean, working in Ghana, I think when you come to Ghana and you think you want to go chill out somewhere, you can get on that um, app and then type maybe greater Accra and then you will see the places that people have you know posted or published or talking about with great reviews um aside this what do you do when you're not working well uh right now um i mean i'm still like i said i'm i'm still in the, in, the, in the process of of doing uh future uh, things that I have to do, uh, future uh, things that I, you know, basically dreams and stuff that I want to do. But for now, uh, this is what I'm doing right now. Um, as as for in the future, maybe a future business. Uh, as for myself, uh, as an entrepreneur, um, you know, uh, I still don't know, but I'm still in the process of doing that. So I think it's been a wonderful conversation with Kwesi Yeshu. And myself, uh, like I said, it's a beautiful morning here in Salt Pond. I know you might have heard of Salt Pond. Uh, Salt Pond is like 10 minutes or 15 minutes away from where I work. So my brother came through. Uh, we had a beautiful discussion. Maybe after here, we might go have a drink or, you know, talk more and learn about each other's culture. And maybe if there's something that I'll need to suggest to you whilst you're in Ghana, I will suggest that to you. Ghanaians are hospitable, welcoming, okay to be around you, everything. But the moment you belittle them, they will turn against you. That is what I'm trying to tell a lot of people. You don't have to say, okay, because if you're from the United States, you're from Puerto Rico, you are, you are like this over no, there. No, 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 no. no, no, no so no, you no. treat, we all have to treat each other the same way, respect each other the same way, and we will, we will move on, you know what I mean? Yeah, so your last word to anybody who is watching Echo Simpson YouTube channel right now. Okay, so I just want to say um, that uh, please, please come visit Ghana um, and uh, the African diaspora, our brothers and sisters need to come back to Africa. You know, if it's not Ghana, visit other countries. There's plenty, there's 54 countries, I would say, mm -hmm. that uh, you can visit. So um, I just want to say thank you, brother. You're welcome. You're welcome. And, um, and saludos a mis hermanos allá, afro-latinos. Y cuídense, oíste. Vengan para acá, África, ok? A Ghana o a otras, eh, eh, otros países de África. Tienen 54 países, so, ok? Cuídense, hermano. Gracias, right? Yeah. <laughs>